in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed so we see revelation that leads to understanding listen it is vain to act on a word you do not understand when you don't know your role listen 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 confusion always comes into any life where there is no clarity clarity there must be clarity of assignment clarity of purpose concerning my prosperity oh god what is the way out you see you don't guess your path of breakthrough you find it out through revelation are we together the doctor say i am ss i am on a journey to change that report so what do i do ss i change you it won't change that way that's not faith number one you are not standing on any known word you know you are just speaking blindly you're not going to get a miracle that way is god helping us now many of us think the point of miracle is when we confess scripture no 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 there is a law confession is useless until you believe we are going there with the heart man believes first you don't confess to believe you confess to make it manifest that you have believed the bible calls it the spirit of faith or the operation of faith is god helping us tonight please pay attention to where you have been missing it so that you can correct that link are we together so let's use someone again come thank god you're a doctor now this guy has god forbid in jesus name this guy has um his ss for instance now watch this please because this may be you this guy may be ss are we together now i want to change from ss to aa is god a herbalist no is he a magician no is he a miracle worker absolutely yes so the first thing you have to do is not just to say in the name of jesus me i'm tired of this thing but it's there are we together oh it must change then you go for test no 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 you are taking action based on what are we together now it is not action i'm showing you where we cheat ourselves in the body of christ it must be based on something so this guy the first thing he needs is an encounter with the word that has a provision for his healing you read about money you'll be rich but i guarantee you you'll never you'll never be healed the 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 revelation about money does not bring healing are we together the revelation about money does not bring healing just like jollof rice is not fried rice although rice is involved in the two processes are we together now you do not just read anything and say because it's scripture remember you are reading the words of a man is is his commitment to you the dynamics of faith this guy wants to change his situation the first thing is is he really interested do you know i have found out it's costly to believe that there are people who want their situations to change you may think because they come for miracle service they really want their situations to change it's not true it's not true at all that's why Jesus will ask them, what should I do for you? I can't assume that you are tired of being blind. You may just want money. Are we together now? I think it was Papa Deboye that shared a story of somebody who, I think he was crippled or so, I can't remember. 
and then he prayed for the person and the person was healed and the person got angry he really got angry because i mean he got a lot of uh, uh generous donations from being crippled people pitied him he didn't have to walk now that his legs were walking no more free lunch and he said he told papa Deboy, you know he was angry what kind of thing is this you have you have scattered my whole destiny i didn't ask i just asked you for money not for healing as funny as this looks there are people like that there are people who love being pitied they enjoy their attention they get around obstacles so they hug those obstacles and remain there hoping to draw empathy through it you will never rise out of challenges that way you must so hate where you are that you do any scriptural thing it takes to get out of there woe to them the bible says what is in zion this guy if he's passive about changing from ss to aa i guarantee you he will remain ss oh can i pray for you yes i don't mind you are just careless and casual there is nothing intentional you are not angry enough it's not a concern to you are we together no you don't approach spiritual things like that that level of 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 um, pacifism does not bring result when you are determined and you are saying the name of jesus christ my entire lineage everybody has been ss i don't find the genotype ss in scripture that means something is wrong somewhere and i'm going to change it so his first assignment is not to start speaking his first assignment is not to run to the hospital for test it will still be ss i guarantee you his first assignment is to find the basis upon which his action will be placed on the word of god you see faith is hard work that's why lazy people cannot believe god faith is not cheap that's why we prefer talking because we think there's nothing to do in the name of jesus i am free you are not free we are seeing it you are not free faith is not foolishness there is an aspect of the equation where you're speaking now gives life but not just that you lazily speak and then you think things will change no sir is god helping us so he's he begins to search the word thank god for technology i download every place where jesus healed matthew mark luke and john while people are snoring their destiny i'm awake showing how serious i am lord i believe and then i begin to study for by his stripes by his stripes the holy ghost begins to take advantage of that word and i see jesus christ on the cross crying and looking at me and i see the blood dripping and the spirit of god takes me to the communion drink this my blood of the new testament an exchange like a blood transfusion whoever drinks of my blood eats of my flesh i'm showing you meditation has my life in theology is called the doctrine of interpenetration the mystery with which two entities become one i not only believe in him his life he says this is the testimony that god has given us eternal life then he says this life is in his son whoever has the son has life now while i'm meditating the devil is trying to tell me when you finish wasting your time i'm there waiting for you but then i take my eyes who against hope and while you are meditating you will feel the pain i'm not telling you you are going to be laughing oh apostle you don't know is is 10 years i've been married i know i know it's not easy i can only imagine please i don't want you to ever think faith is not denying pain listen please this is where what preachers have made a mistake sometimes in a bit to help you become a man of faith they can say just pretend there's no pain and you say God, there, there is pain please there is pain does not mean you don't have faith but what i'm saying is i know that there is an obvious situation but against it against it against it i am looking up to something higher are we together now so i am coughing out blood everybody is seeing that this is blood 
I can't call it water. I will be lying. That's stupidity. That's not faith. This is blood. I am, I am shrinking. It's obvious that this is witchcraft attack. But against it, I'm believing by his stripes. And I'm meditating upon it. Let me tell you. The moment I begin to study through the stories, then I hear while the evening was come, they all came and gathered to hear and to be healed. Now the Holy Spirit locks in there with you. To hear and to be healed. That means the working of miracles is tied to the hearing of faith. The hearing of faith, the working of miracles. The hearing of faith, the working of miracles. There is something you must hear to plant faith. You act on that word. A word that is spoken, the hearing of faith. You see now, the word of God is growing in my spirit. The Holy Ghost is infusing something in me. The hearing of faith, the working of miracles. The hearing of faith, the working of miracles. You act into that fire petrol on fire your spirit is ready for miracle service now you are coming for miracle service not carelessly people just strolled and came let's come and see what will happen but you have already come with a revelation the hearing of faith the working of miracle are we together now the hearing of faith the moment the man of God comes up your spirit is open the hearing of faith the working of miracles in the name of Jesus Christ be healed and you don't just stand and say but I didn't fall and you are saying a lot of stupid things that are cheating you while you are standing wasting three hours and you are being cheated there the hearing of faith it is useless to take action when understanding is not there understanding define your role in the equation please write this down but it works through faith the grace of God appeared to you but the action of faith there was endurance there as free as salvation is someone must take a step of faith is that true please don't get into this understanding that because it's by grace it comes to you by itself you have a part to play you are God. That's why we call the meeting koinonia. It's a sharing together. It's a participation. If you understand this key, you will know that you are to sit down and wait for God blindly is to sit down and wait in frustration forever. Are you getting what I'm saying now? We're examining the dynamics of faith. So understanding. Now I have come to a point. Let me use finances. Now this gentleman was born from a background. For instance, poverty, curses, yokes, suffering. You know, all kinds of things. This person gets tired of his situation. And prays and fasts and says, Lord, change my life now. Let me tell you what that fasting will do. That fasting will enable the Holy Spirit lead him to a tape. Lead him to a book. Or lead him to the word. Because it is not magic. The best he can get from that prayer and fasting. Is favor that is instantaneous. Someone will just come and say, the Lord told me to give you 20,000. That is good, but that's not, it's not enough to fund your destiny. So God encourages that current situation because you are hungry it's obvious you would die if it doesn't show up so 20,000 is given to you to help you but that does not mean that's his system of doing things now you go and study the word directly or through men and women who by grace they've had access to that revelation now listen I begin to study the word of God and I find out that there is a role I have to play are we together now I, there is a role God has to play. This is God here. And his part is eternally settled. Don't confuse this. So I now begin to search from the word of God. There is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholded more than his meat and tends to poverty. That scripture attacks my greed. And I come to terms with the fact that I'm a greedy person. I've never helped anybody. That scripture, he that gives to the poor lends to the Lord. Ah, I've not given to anybody. 
so this is the key yet ye have robbed me lord i believe i'm now seen i've always been greedy and i told you remember hebrews 11 the first elder the bible talked about was abel it says by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice he gave lavishly because he believed that god was his supplier cain was a miser because he did not believe there can be another supply let me tell you greed is one of the proofs of unbelief that's why politicians are very lavish because they know they can fetch it again so they are not necessarily working by faith but there is a conviction that they can fetch it anytime people are greedy because they do not think it will ever be enough by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice is god speaking to someone here let me show you the major of our faith where we miss it in the dynamics of faith let me show you a very interesting scripture bless you bless you bless you let me show you one scripture god gave me a revelation that i mean it just blew me in a way um matthew 17 please we'll read verse 15 to 20 media help us it's going to us tonight matthew 17 15 to 20 matthew 17 15 to 20 matthew 17 15 to 20 are you there now watch this this was the case of a lunatic right he says lord have mercy on my son the father of the boy now for he is lunatic and so vexed and oftentimes he followed into the fire and off into the water we're reading down to 20 and brought him to the disciples and they could not heal him so this was a situation where the disciples tried to act are you seeing that it's not all about action and jesus answered and said oh faithless and perverse generation how long shall i be with you how long shall i suffer permit you bring him hither to me verse 18 and jesus rebuked the devil and he departed at him and the child was cured from that very hour 19 then came the disciples now listen listen came the disciples to jesus apart and said why could not we cast him out why could not we prosper why were we not healed they were asking a question why they did not get results verse 20 I want you to look at this scripture god gave me a powerful revelation i'm about to show you i've heard many preachers talk about it but god gave me a new light it says and jesus said unto them because of your unbelief please listen it says for verily verily i say unto you if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed not size and the bible says as far as the earth remains seed time and harvest meaning your faith is inactive until it is planted until it is planted the seed is the word the soil is your heart faith is of the heart he's giving us an understanding to the operation of faith if your faith can act in the similitude of a monster seed it is the smallest but when you plant it in the right soil give it time are you getting what i'm saying now so it's not talking about size many of us just come and say the size does not matter are you kidding faith is a seed it's like the mustard seed how do you benefit from the mustard seed i have i have a, a, a little bowl full of mustard seed and sometimes i look at it i turn it it's so small really tiny I turn it and it doesn't even fall you know just sticks to the bottom of the bowl and I'm looking at it I say oh this little thing and this is what the Bible says our faith will be like but the wonder of that seed is when it gets to the soil meaning your faith standing inactive not reaching your spirit once the Word of God has not gotten into your spirit faith cannot be produced it must be like the mustard seed planted watered allowed to grow then it moves mountains the seed does not move mountains the tree the seed produces is what moves mountains
God helping us tonight? So revelation, understanding, produces conviction. Now, the point of conviction in the faith equation is what we have called belief, pistis. Belief, belief, conviction, persuasion. Are we together? Belief is not the same thing as faith. Belief leads to the manifestation of faith. But belief is not the same as faith. The moment you have believed, then you are now ready to take action. But that does not mean you have manifested faith by itself. I believe God will prosper the business. I have studied the word of God. I understand the dynamics. I have sown a seed. I have studied. I have gotten mentorship. Now you have believed. The next thing is to take action. This is where the action part that we call faith comes in. Are you seeing now? Most people start taking action blindly and we never get anything. Number one, an encounter with the word produces revelation, leads to understanding. Understanding leads to your knowledge of what your role is in getting that desired outcome. Then you are convicted. We call it persuasion. You are now persuaded beyond the obstacle. So I know that there is an obstacle before me but i also know that that mountain is surmountable now i can take steps are we together romans chapter 10 please we'll read from verse 8 to 10. let's look at some of the actions that we can take to complete the faith equation there are not many actions we take the actions are broadly obedient actions broadly obedient actions it says but what saith it the word night thee now listen even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach this is the dynamics of faith now right that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and thou shalt believe in thy heart that god raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved verse 10 this is the correct protocol for confessing the word of god the correct protocol for confessing the word of God is first with the heart man believes. Then with the mouth confession is made. Are we together? The Bible calls it the operation. In fact, this is what the Bible calls the spirit of faith. 2 Corinthians 4.13. Give it to us please. 2 Corinthians 4.13. 2 Corinthians 4.13 but we having the spirit or the operation of faith as it is written right it says we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written how is the spirit of faith the word spirit there means the operation of faith so also if you want to operate it this is what you must do you must believe and then you speak you don't just speak blindly brothers and sisters the word confession comes from the hebrew word homologio and the, the, the context of the word is to repeat as you have heard. But it's not just to speak as you are hearing. It is actually to repeat on the strength of the conviction you have based on what you have heard. It literally means reflect the person talking to you. Both in conviction and communication. Not just speaking. The person talking to you is standing upon an understanding. You too stand upon that understanding. And then you speak are we together there are different actions please listen write this down there are different actions that the Bible requires for different manifestations of results there are different actions that the Bible requires for different manifestations of results there are different actions an example of such actions number one speaking speaking consistent with god's word speaking is an action that the bible requires there are instances in scripture where the delivery of certain results attached to your speaking releasing the power of creation the creative force of the word calling the things that be not as though they are number two giving there is the action of giving of a seed of anything that is of worth 
is an action there are instances in scripture that will require that action to perfect your faith are we together the third action a step of faith physical steps of faith as in the case of healing physical steps of faith you move the part of your body that could not move you try to take action by faith physical steps of faith physical steps of faith number four obedience to revealed instructions obedience we are stating some of the actions that can be taken that the word of god the step you need to take is obedience to an instruction given by god there are faith actions is god helping us the end of your faith experience is that you get to a point where you now commit god now listen god write this down god is only committed when your obedience is perfected god is only committed when your obedience please i want you to understand this god is a loving god he's a gracious god but he has subjected himself to the influence of his word the bible says that he exalts his word even above his name only committed to your cause and to your life where your obedience is complete the bible tells us in habakkuk chapter 2 it says the vision will speak in the end it didn't say the vision will speak in the beginning you will take steps and it will look like nothing is happening another word for faith is consistency is god helping us please action let me emphasize a, a little more about this action action taking action for me is about the hardest aspect of faith do you know why because sometimes write it down most faith actions are risky most faith actions are what risky most faith actions are risky you have two hundred thousand. you are looking for two million and the holy ghost speaks to you and says so everything and you have 72 hours to raise that money now that's risky what if that was not god you have complicated the case listen another word for faith is r-i-s-k is a risk that's how you spell faith Faith is spelled R-I-S-K. Play it safe, you will lose out in life. You must be audacious, not stupid, audacious. That's why your faith must rest upon something. God said this. I take him by his word. If I perish, I perish, but I count him faithful. Are we together? It had never happened, but Noah, I will do it. See, training yourself to hear God is one of the greatest investments you can make in your life. Write it down. Growing to a point spiritually when you learn how to hear God is, is, is a treasure you will, you will live to enjoy for the rest of your life because the problem for many people is whether it is really god the problem is not that they do not have the grace to obey let me tell you why the disciples obeyed effortlessly they could not doubt that it was not god they said that which we have seen that which we have heard that which we have handled right and satan has done something to our generation satan has created a haze and a cloud around spiritual perception there is no time in human history where there is confusion about discerning what god is saying he has corrupted every avenue every biblical
physical avenue to hear God because Satan knows that faith comes by hearing so he focused on corrupting dreams corrupting visions are we together so now you don't even know whether the person you saw in the dream is your husband again because you saw somebody whereas it would have been a good opportunity but Satan has now confused it you saw 20 faces you don't even know there's you, you are not you are even afraid of the dream we've had people who were praying and landed in Shika there have been cases like that people praying in tongues you see how Satan wants to corrupt everything let me tell you something Satan fears that men hear God because he knows that when men hear God they can take action and if it is God he will commit himself so Satan's project in your life is to confuse you as much as possible so because he knows that your faith is tied to the Word of God it's tied to the clear of what you know what God is saying if someone walks up to me now and says Apostle do you know this koinonia program you are holding is not in the will of God you are out of the will of God and you have been walking in disobedience you are about to die now I'm not going to go back and say God please help me is it that I didn't hear you the encounters that lead to this was so certain brothers and sisters never do anything major in your life until there is solid conviction but I know God sent me do you know why many people chicken out the voice of God is not clear don't marry when you have not had the voice of God. Don't give birth to children when you have not had the voice of God. You thought you had seven. Now when the going gets tough, you hear three. It's not clear. See, I'm saying this. Let me show us where. Because you see, in, I told us last week. I hope you know during the time of the apostles, they didn't have this. So their faith was entirely dependent on what Jesus told them. Jesus told them, go to the lost sheep of Israel. The kingdom has come heal the sick cast out them when he was speaking faith was planted they believed him did they believe him they were persuaded now he did not go with them so you don't have to wait until you see the physical presence of jesus they went he sent them just like he's sending his word so his word went with them don't, jesus must appear before you obey his word is him in your life he said go now don't think they were just laughing when they saw someone's hand twisted in a way that it say, is their bone in this i say yes heal the sick as you go i tell you this happens to me all the time we returned from yola it was a mighty from from mubi it was such such a mighty mighty crusade i mean there were all kinds of miracles 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 it was very humbling nobody gives me a guarantee that's why people stage manage miracles it's not easy because they want to make sure they can create it if god didn't speak let's speak so they can say jimmy behave your hand is not working well so that if god does it or not at least you can release your hand and say it's working now because faith is hard work if faith is not hard work nobody will fake miracles are we together God will never give you any guarantee outside of his word. Looking for any guarantee out of his word is unbelief. He will send you with his word. Watch this. I have money here. I like using money to teach. Come. The guy is already smiling. <laughs> Watch this. Hold this. What is this? You can't say you don't know it. What is this? Money. 1,000 naira. Please look up. Look up call this the word of God are we together now this water is 1,000 naira huh are you holding 1,000 naira this is the evidence of what you have not seen is that true this is faith is the substance this is water for you this is the same as water because it can buy water are we together go and drop it and pick water and come back so shall my word not return drop it now and come it shall accomplish because his word is currency when he sends you the word can buy you things miracles signs this guy dropped the 1000 now the way God, once the miracle happens the process is reversed the word returns back to him ready to be sent again the word is like a messenger 
it returns to God meaning it has not yet returned to heaven and it will stay there waiting for your faith to insist believe what I'm telling you don't think I'm motivating you because the fire in Nigeria will require you understanding this yes that's the song that's the song the word you speak can do what what's the song can turn things around now watch this I've given him the word of God hold it this is the word of God spirit and life are we together and then you drop it they will say you are too small to hold it whoever can hold it can receive it so the word of God watch this because you rejected it as many as received him he gave them power to become they received so they had power to become so he gives you a word son you are going to your marriage will be a blessing your children surround your table as at the time he's, he's saying this you ask a lady out and say i want to see your parents and she said don't ever talk to me about marriage again but the word of god says your marriage will be a blessing are we together the word of god to you comes male and female he created them he says seek out of the book and read none shall want her made is to take this word and never let it go you can fall but hold the word i guarantee you if you hold this word it will bring you a result it will bring you a result i know what i'm saying that is how this work that we are doing by grace came that is how this thing you see will come into your life now anybody who ignores the word of god is really foolish you are studying the word of god is the same thing as using an atm every time you are studying imagine yourself using an atm please answer me is this minerals help me is this minerals if i dash this guy now and i say buy bonds after the program he will be laughing did i give him bonds? did i give him um minerals i gave him the substance of what he's hoping for i gave him the evidence of what he has not seen so paul says now faith is the word of god I give you the equivalent of the blessing here is the principle to cash it and he say God I want money and he says you are foolish you see how foolish a lot of people are you will excel I'm showing you rugged faith because I'm telling you our generation is a generation of complete unbelief try to do anything that is of faith people will call you stupid that's why people don't get any significant results in their lives. When it's time to pray for the sick, God told us to put a miracle service. So we tell the sick bodies, come. Listen. How? Come. I am laying hands on somebody. How am I sure? Or how am I not sure that this guy has a communicable disease that can infect me too? Do you know the kinds of people I have laid hands on? tuberculosis whatever if i am lying with this thing i'm telling you by now you will know you are praying for him the problem is on the leg you are praying on his head he's saying no no it's here as if it's where you touch it's not just where you touch when you take panadol do you swallow it from your leg no 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 answer me you just swallow it and go to bed the drug knows how to find its way and solve that problem why have we downgraded the word of god help that lady under the anointing look at me i'm showing you a principle that if you understand you will change your life are we together so shall my word be so shall my word be so shall my word be God gives you a word. Hey Jimmy, I want to make you a billionaire. Take that word. I am making you a kingdom financier. You take that word. By the time he's giving you that word, your ATM is 20 naira. So what? Who taught you that this is not currency? Please believe what I'm telling you. So, you take that word. You've not been pregnant. You've been trying and trying. The baby has refused to come. 
kill me he sent forth his word if i give you one thousand together with the skill of a doctor and the doctor now says lie down and cuts you opens you and removes whatever tumor you will be grateful god gives you this and says this is both doctor this is both money just take it now let me tell you something the moment you fulfill your part of the deal this word is so powerful it can become anything the bible simply said the word became flesh flesh means it had a material substance albert einstein suffered and did something to the world that we have refused we have punished people and given them zero in physics not knowing that that albert einstein formula is the secret for transferring spiritual realities he gave us a relationship between energy and matter that energy and matter are interconnected they can be changed it's not physics that spirit that's that's the word of god he simply calls spirit energy because there is nothing else he can call it there is a system that transfers the word of god to a material vessel you are standing and god says i'm going to give you a house where is the house in his word take that word the word itself will begin to move people i look at things in my life today that god told me they will come and i watched them come today and i said lord so your word really brought this anything the word of god cannot produce is not available write it down don't let no herbalists fool you don't let no science deceive you whatever the word of god if the word of god cannot give you a child i guarantee you no amount of witchcraft and diabolism will give you a child they will only give you trouble in human form hallelujah is god helping us revelation leads you to understanding brings you conviction now convicted you know what you should do then you take consistent action consistent action you're not going to take you see you must add to your action patience brothers and sisters you must add to your action patience nobody plants maize and comes next week in the farm and gets angry when you plant maize what do you expect to happen to it please answer me when you come back and you just see one little green thing do you complain you start rejoicing my maize is growing so why don't you celebrate the miracles when they start the leg could not move before but now something is happening it's moving and you just look and say Kai, this man is fake it's not working when elijah saw the cloud like the fist of a man's hand immediately immediately he rejoiced he didn't say i will keep praying until the environment is tense immediately he saw that he knew that the system of transportation had arrived the goods had arrived and he started preparing to run I'm on my way to better days. Listen, faith, faith is God's system of rescue. You may say, I did not come from a good background. Listen to me. You may say, my father was this and that. I didn't have the opportunity to be educated. I didn't have the opportunity to grow up in London. I came from a village. Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. We are gathered here tonight because of faith. God sent a word. Men believed it. They walked with it. They mounted pressure on his integrity. I'm on my way to paradise. Hallelujah. One time, we're returning from, I don't know which of the, I, I can't remember where we went now, and a lady sent me a text and said she saw whether she saw me having an accident or something or a plane crash now it may be that that's what the devil had planned to kill me on the road but you see 
I have an understanding that at the point of obedience, God is also committed not just to bring his word to pass, to protect you while you are obeying him. Are we together now? I can sit down and just make noise and brag and say, no, 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 I will not die. And jam myself and shred myself into pieces. They will carry my bones and bury me. You will just cry for one week. I know you love me, but I tell you one week and that's all. Koinonia continues. I go to heaven, but I didn't finish my assignment. Are we together? See, the next time you make an audacious statement, pause, sila, ask yourself, what, am, what rock is my house built upon? Because it is never the building. It is what the building is upon. You are seeing people dying. You better ask questions. It's happening. Are we together? You are not giving birth. Please, I want us to be honest with ourselves. This night, we are going to examine the areas in our lives where things are not working and find out what part of this equation am I missing. Good master, what must I do? Good master, what must I do? Oh God of prosperity, what must I do? God of influence, what must I do? There is no excuse. There is no excuse. There is no excuse. Oh, witches and wizards, nonsense. There is one person getting a result. Is God challenging us? We must take responsibility over our lives. Over our lives. Over our lives. And he will protect you. God gave us a word. We believed it. There are many things that God has said to me. Even in recent times. And these things look big and gigantic. But then I just told him. I said, Lord, I'm a believer. You have trained me well. You trained me well in the school of the spirit. God trained me to believe him. God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God because he will give up. Listen, the word of God. That, yes, the word of God. Just with the word of God, yes, I will. It created the heavens and the earth. It can create my destiny. I don't believe it. Keep watching. Ah. When a man has vowed to believe God, I show you a dangerous man. You stand on his way, the word will clear you as if he didn't see you. Never conclude on a man who has vowed to be addicted to. See, let me tell you. Do you know why I preach and talk to you? I have seen what God has told me you will become. I have seen it. Not just in visions he has told me. I prayed to God one time and I said, Lord, I don't want to pastor people who are weak. I want spiritual men, but men of influence. And God told me, this is what you do. So you are sitting now. I know you are wearing a rubber shoe. Don't worry. You will see what will happen to you. I've said it prophetically. We will all be great. And the greatest part is we will all know ourselves. I said this thing when we were sitting on mat. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well me. Now, let me tell you, you can choose to. There is something called the mystery of mockery. A lady gets up in the night and she's prophesying. I'm a virtuous woman in the name of Jesus. She's reading books and you say, Are you this desperate for a husband? The mystery of mockery see let me tell you do you know why many of us don't this this our this our wanting not wanting a bad name huh i don't want you to say i am this and that see if you don't make up your mind to obey the word of god and you leave the word of god because you are trying to be nice to people you will fail and they will not come to help you are we together mockery when you saturate your phone with nonsense music 
you are listening to anything and it doesn't matter and he said look i have to be social right i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing because there are people listening to me right now and we think what i'm saying is nonsense you will find them they want money they want influence they want anointing but they will never listen while the word is coming like this they sit down there in pride and they are arguing it and then they never really get any result i have not seen one person who is ashamed of god and ashamed of the things of god who rose up gloriously in his life you pray in tongues you have a little corner you are praying in tongues somebody just enters and you just behave as if as if as if what you are doing is an embarrassment outspoken obedience because you believe god god said it i believe it one day god will tell you carry 80 percent of your clothes share them strategically God, I just bought this one. You would have given me the instruction before this one arrived. Can you do it? Don't laugh. I'm telling you why people never rise. See, let me tell you something about not just prosperity, but the blessing of God. If you do not stretch your, your, your giving life, you know how a rubber ring is. You must get to a point where you are you can release anything at the word of god otherwise get ready to be poor i say this the key to increase is not greed the key to increase is not business the key to increase is activating the word of god you are not a tighter you are scripturally entitled to poverty i guarantee you i guarantee you it is not a gimmick by a man of God to collect your money where people of integrity most people are not consistent titles most people don't give we are greedy greedy not to the poor not sowing into anointings not nothing yet you want a harvest to come from where the Bible says if the cloud if your cloud be full of rain I cannot afford to walk into a future I have not sent seeds ahead of no Are we together? The word of God. I believe this word and I act on it. I act on it. This is the word that has helped us so far. When you stand before a sick body, there is no guarantee. You can pray in tongues and do all you need to do. But at the point of obedience, Jesus said, they shall lay hands on the sick. Come. So this brother is sick. I know he's sick we are all seeing the lump I'm seeing it he's feeling the pain but Jesus said they shall lay hands on the sick now it is up to me to look and say Kai you said how did this thing come and just turn back let me tell you what I've done I have robbed God of the opportunity to prove himself now somebody may ask apostle but the other time I did exactly what the word of God said and it did not happen do you still count him faithful? Let me tell you something about God. If you obey God sincerely from your heart and there is no result, then it has not finished. Keep watching. There is hope for a tree, even though it be cut short. He said, at the scent of water. Have you watched films? Actor and the boss. They will beat the actor as if he entered a meat machine. You will think he's dead. But from the beginning of the film, a ghost appeared and told him he was going to make it. You know all those kind of films. While they are beating him, he's remembering that vision. And sometimes he would die truly. Then the ghost will appear and give him life because the ghost must defend what she said. Oh, come on. If a ghost can appear to defend it, why not die believing God? It's better than living, believing men who cannot help you. I believe God. Seated in this place, bless you, are men and women who are where they are today because they have believed God. Let me tell you, make no mistakes. Scattered in this congregation and people following online are men who are where they are today because they have believed God. By faith. There are people here 
who were once Muslims, right? We have some of them here. By faith, they believed God and his prophecy and they denied the shame. Some of them went through hell in their families, including death threat. By faith, God committed himself. But people sold cars and houses like idiots. Believing the word of God, there is he that scattered and yet increases. There's a man years ago, he's a pastor. He gave this testimony, true story. He went for a convention and there was a building. They wanted to roof it and they were raising funds for the roof. And, you know, he had his own house, beautiful house, personal house. And the Holy Ghost ministered to him and said, son, I want you to give this house to that church. They will sell it and roof the house. He didn't know how to tell his wife. That's why I said it's good to hear God as soon as he held the wife's hand she started crying because her too had had the instruction from god and she looked at him and she said if it is god let's give it let me tell you something they came out of that house as landlords and became tenants what do you call that in our society stupid stupid is that not true your parents will say never come for koinonia again if this what that idiot is teaching you people don't ever but they they remember the word of God, not just intention, not just desire. The word of God. Do you know they sowed that seed? It was heavy upon them. But from that day, the Lord spoke to that man and said, you will never build a house in your lifetime again. As at the time he was speaking, I think he had at least 17 of those houses. All gifts. Somebody comes and says, God said I should give you this bungalow. Please come and look at this house if you like it. Now you like the man's story. Do you like what he did? If you claim to be Abraham's children, you will do the works of Abraham. He took his only begotten son. There are men who God gave them instructions all through this year. From 12 o'clock till 3 o'clock, spend time with me. 12 to 3 is me and you. That's hard work. There are people God give instructions first one year. January 1st to December 1st. There are people here. There was a gentleman that fasted 400 days. 400 days. I rounded up the last day with him. I've never fasted 400 days in my life. 6 to 6. Not, not 6 to 10. 6 to 6. Please. I'm challenging you Koinonia. Your destiny is in your hands. Everybody say my destiny is in my hands. If you want to rise up. You can take this word today. Next week, I'm going to be teaching us on faith boosters. I'm going to be teaching us the mystery of thanksgiving, praise, partnership, the things that help faith to stand. Romans chapter 4 verse 18. Let's attempt to round up. We are going to pray tonight. This is the victory. Romans 4 18. Believed. So let's look at a few words. Those are the key words there. Against something he believed that he might become according to that which was spoken god spoke something in my life i see obstacles standing against i believe that i may become that which has been spoken say in the name of jesus say it in the name of jesus everything god declared about me i make up my mind that i will walk by faith I make up my mind that I will live by faith. One of the things God is already telling me about the miracle service, this month's miracle service, is that he's going to be focusing on fruitfulness. This fruit, we are going to deal with this issue of barrenness, this miracle service. If that's the only thing we do, we are going to trash it to nonsense. Next week, we are going to announce it. I don't care where the baby will grow whether it's on the leg on the head that baby must grow do you believe God you believe God for miracles I wish I wish I can I can bring my heart and put it into you so that you will understand this thing nothing will ever change in your life until you walk by faith look at me 
nothing will ever change in your life until you choose to walk by faith but apostle what if it does not work let it not work then you blame god but not before the system of the kingdom is not until you see results step first there are people god has given instructions here they will never take a step there is an action you must take do you know there are times that god can give you a crazy instruction go and lock go and lock yourself in a room the action may be praise tehila praise god you know those Igbo songs those those what they call them and god can just close you there and say dance for one hour it looks stupid are we together you feel you are too big uh -uh. dance again god just say i should sow because we think he he uses the foolish things let me tell you i want you today to learn to be a child before god sometimes the instruction god can give you is when you come for koinonia as praise and worship is going on or worship just lie down flat on the floor that's an instruction that's an instruction it looks stupid but there is a miracle in that instruction the miracle is not in lying down the miracle is the unashamedness to obey god are we together i remember a woman one time she had been trusting god i don't know why i'm talking about barrenness she had been trusting god for a child and the lord gave her an instruction she said she should buy she should buy children's clothes baby clothes for two people who already gave birth in the church do you know this woman went and they said god told her this was what she said that the money she would have used for her own child this woman shopped like die and divided it into two and gave those children like two months she took in she took in in mubi where we went um, they might even be following online now the last time we went before last week while we went there one particular person he believed you know the wife they've been trusting god for a child a lecturer there in the university there and nothing had come and he believed the instruction he believed god gave him was that he should drive me that was the instruction throughout the program a doctor phd dropped his pride and was the one who was driving me all around drove me all through when we left that place i think it was one month later his wife took him when i went i went to pray for them where was the demon where was the cause the cause is only stand because your disobedience keeps them standing when you are ready to radically obey not not half obedience let me tell you i believe in my spirit one of the greatest areas of disobedience in our lives is giving I'm not saying this because I want money. I fear God. Please don't, don't, please don't confuse this. I want you to prosper. One of the reasons why many of us may never rise in our personal finances where we are is this giving thing. It's a, you, you would rather pray for 12 hours than to give 1,000 naira. You can even pray and do frog jump as you are praying, but the money should come out of your pocket. No. So you never rise. Your spirit is charged, but you are poor. So you excuse the instruction by going for prayer department meeting you even go by three and say lord i give you one year extra prayer before they start no every result every result has the instruction that leads to it every result has the instruction that leads to it every result has the instruction the apex of your faith work is when the instructions come obey fast and obey completely obey fast and obey completely bishop oyedeko was sharing how that while they were dedicating covenant university in the presence of dignitaries people coming from different nations other intellectuals he said the lord told him with his suit or whatever it is that he was wearing to lie down flat by the gate of covenant university in the presence of everybody to lie down flat and hand over covenant university to him and he said that was what he did in the presence of everybody he went down flat now it's easy for you to go down if you like you can fall down or lie down flat but for a man at that level 
he said he lay down flat and he said lord i hand over this university to you and you can see that it is god that is leading it you know when god is leading a thing please i'm speaking to us it's time to lay your burdens down and pick something higher and start running with tangible results for some of us throughout this 2016 the only thing that has moved forward in your life is your prayer life nothing else has moved forward that's not the will of god it's the will of god that everything will move forward hallelujah our parents have disobeyed god to their peril they they never walk by faith so this car i bind that spirit i suffered with my money this is my first car so it becomes your last one you stay with it there and punish the whole family members do you know let me tell you the thing about faith if you are not manifesting faith and you see someone manifesting faith and getting results do you know what will happen to you you will be angry that's all that's why the society is full of angry people what is this lady doing that they are promoting her in the office she must be sleeping with the manager no sir you she's obeying every instruction god is giving and she's three years in that place of work but she has risen you are there but you will never obey god do, do not over intellectualize god god is spirit god is spirit god gave a corporate instruction and they obeyed when was the last time if you cannot look at your life and say you had an instruction from god honestly honestly something is wrong with your spiritual life you should go for a retreat when god begins to give instructions femi wake up it's two o'clock but i need to speak to you just spend some time no more sleep and you put worship song and you're just walking around lord why are you waking me by two it looks like these kind of things have become extinct in the body of christ where god wakes people when you say god wake me people look at you which god you god doesn't know who to wake is he's waking you you see we, we have become not not koinonia now not koinonia where it's spiritual people but i'm saying this carnality has so swept the body of christ when people say god spoke to me just god, god, god doesn't know what to speak to what what made us become like this god can say stand up femi he may not tell you why he's just saying pray just keep praying that's all the instruction god gave walk around and pray 30 minutes he has not said anything 40 minutes he has not said anything 50 minutes he has not said anything one hour he has not said anything you remain at the last place of instruction until another one comes and you continue praying one hour 10 minutes you are still praying in tongues an anointing comes on you and he says speak your bible and you begin to write i will make you exceedingly great god is a master of speaking to people in the night ask anybody that knows god the night time is when his voice is, is is clear all the people who don't have faith are sleeping god is speaking to you i will make you exceedingly great he will use a scripture as i was with moses so i will be with you at jimmy you wake up in the morning with that word guys the lord has spoken to us he said he will be with us in koinonia ah oh, let's see what will happen and you begin to see evidences of his presence there are promises that god has given me i have a very deep covenant with god i have a very i respect the speakings of god there are things god has told me I look forward to my birthdays i look forward to the end of the year when we finish koinonia now while i start my retreat i look forward to hearing what god says you see let me tell you one thing that will boost your faith is to create seasons where you meet with god god jesus we are one with him but he's not our mate all this nonsense that is a god if you want to touch me talk to me anytime you need to create a time i'm busy looking for money looking for fame looking for wife and husband and we never hear him one word from god will give you what you are fasting for for 100 years listen brothers and sisters where you are in life somebody was once there 
it took faith for them to live there you have refused to leave that place and leave the space for others use your faith and get out of that place in this kingdom last scripture it is unto you according to your faith it is unto you matthew chapter 9 matthew chapter 9 the last scripture we'll look at today and then we'll pray i want us to take 10 minutes really praying in the spirit matthew chapter 9 from verse 27 actually to 29 but you can leave it to 30 but 29 please watch this it's projected and when jesus departed thence two blind men how many blind men two blind men followed him question how can a blind man follow somebody it didn't say they called him two blind men looked for him and followed him they had heard about him are we together i'm sure they had been discussing the day this man comes near here that's the day our eyes will open what of you is me too my eyes will open that's why they were friends two blind men if two blind men can be friends with themselves for their healings you should make friends with good people don't make friends with people who choke your faith you want to take a step of faith you carry the ten thousand naira. they just hold you and say sorry yo. it's not like i'm saying you should not give but you too be wise i just said oh it's true oh god you see that's not a good friend that's a nice friend but it's not a good friend and when jesus departed tells two blind men followed him crying and saying thou son of david they interceded for one another have mercy on us we have discussed this thing we are determined as friends to be free next verse and when he was come into the house the blind men came to him do you know it's interesting how jesus acts sometimes he will just ignore you as if he does not see you full of grace and truth the fountain of love having two blind men call on him and he just walks away and leaves them and gets into a room and watches their faith they try to stagger their way into the room and he says you are qualified for a miracle then you sit down in your home and think that god will just come to your home and give you a miracle you are dreaming two blind men are we christians are we christians i hope you know that this is this is jesus we're talking about not the disciples would have said they are proud but this is the living logos two blind men the bible says when he came into the house what happened do you know the blind men would have been angry and said you are an man you are not the messiah and they would talk, will he change him just like many people get angry with god he is still king of kings the heavens are worshiping him you are there in hell and so you have to follow him through this one leg following and don't follow with the other leg is why many people are cheated if you will follow him go all the way then he says the blind man came to him and jesus said to them listen believe ye that i am able to do this in other words that you are standing in the presence of the world does not mean you will get a miracle do you believe are you convicted do you see that i am able to do this And this is what they said they said unto him yeah lord 29 then he touched their eyes at what point did he touch their eyes they believed they came they had done their part of the deal he now touched their eyes and this is what he said while he touched their eyes according to my ability help me please in response to the action your journey of faith started not from when i came your discussion that you must be healed while you were doing that the word was a witness to your conversation like the woman with the issue of blood who told herself if i may but touch the hem of his garment and now jesus came and they went i'm sure they were tired and they said let's just continue he says according to all that activity not just you're saying yes according to everything you started doing to that point be it unto you so when god gives you prosperity according to your endurance according to the time when you sowed a million naira and a harvest didn't look like it was coming it is still part of the equation of faith according to the time when you were sick and you tried getting up and you fell when you fell you would have been discouraged but you still said lord i believe you according to your faith listen 
it is not the last thing you do before the miracle that is your faith is the summation of the entire process of action that is your faith man of god according to your faith you you deserve the anointing when you were praying nobody watched you i was watching are we together it was in response to my word when others were sleeping you were standing mommy when you were interceding for your daughter i was watching his faith look let me tell you when you see successful people in the kingdom and you say it's not fair you must be joking when god is supervising the law himself we're going to pray we must stop here tonight but i want to challenge your faith hear me people of god if it will ever change in your life it's not all up to god sisters hear me we have lovely sisters in this place but i want you to rise in this season not just spiritually rise in every aspect of your destiny and it's got to be by faith brothers you will be established by faith not by jobs the just shall live not by paycheck the just shall live how by faith if you think all you will ever get in life is because of the certificate you are holding get set for a shock in this life i tell you without any fear or favor somebody can sit down on your promotion and just hit you we have wicked people controlled by demon spirits in this life but your faith i am where i am today by the grace of god but it is through faith by grace through faith you will prosper by grace through faith you will walk in the anointing by grace through faith it will never be outside of it you will rise by grace through faith rise up on your feet hold your hands everybody let's pray in tongues we will rise in your name hold your hands together just reach out to somebody sing it from your heart you reign on. Zakata kata parata kata kalabarato kosubataya nende pres kata riata kafasha na malada balaka si de baha sada baraha tashi melakata embro katos kebarata kapa beteketele makata. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray. The Bible says, And what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them, and thou shalt have them. There is a difference between receiving and having. Receiving is of the Spirit. Having talks of its manifestation. I want you to pray. Listen. Listen. Through faith, the Bible says, through faith, men subdued kingdoms are we together the key to deliverance is declare thou that ye might be justified you are going to open your mouth and command forces that are stopping you from stepping into the next level of your life to bow the key your point of action is your speaking to the mountain i like you to pray god is changing people's stories hallelujah hallelujah listen we're rounding up but we're still going to pray this point i can tell you this the instructions of god is his leading to the next dimension of your life it says the lord is my shepherd that is why i will not want the lord is my shepherd the lord can lead you there are there are ladies who have been cheaply led to their husbands by the spirit of god Come and work in the welfare department. Come and serve in ushering. It, it's an instruction. For others, it's something voluntary. For you, it may be an instruction.
pray every day one hour for one month that is the instruction listen you must receive grace to take instruction serious not just careless fabricated instructions out of your lost instructions that are genuinely either from the written word of god or from the revealed word through his voice to you we are going to pray one more time lord any instruction i've neglected that has tied me down don't think demons it's not just demons disobedience to instructions e individually lift your voice and pray for grace 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 to instructions to the latter to flesh hallelujah 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 when koinonia started the lord spoke to me and said son for this season i want to increase you and increase the ministry and this will happen through the teachings he says do not sell any koinonia material that's what the lord told me he said don't sell anything let all the messages be free at that time ejimi you will testify they had not even started all these uploading messages it was a stupid instruction it was a crazy one ministries depend on the media ministry to raise a lot of funds for ministry activities you will not preach messages as powerful as this and upload them for free but if god said it we will obey and out of that foolish instruction god has used it today to build a name for himself these teachings have gone to cities and countries and places 70 percent of the people who have been blessed through my life and this ministry do not know me they meet me as airports at restaurants everywhere and they are happy I was in Abuja a few days ago and someone just met me there and looked at me and said this is Apostle Joshua Selman I said where do you know me I mean I just went to get something so embarrassing he said I've never seen you I've only seen you in my dream and I've seen your faces on posters I'm so happy you know this and that he was greeting trying to sow a seed and I said my God the foolishness of instructions hey Jimmy sow the best tie you have as a seed buy Shade's child a little trouser oh god why do i need to buy i'm too big for that it's an instruction we must get to a point in our lives where we don't let pride cheat us lock your door every day for one hour dance before god before you sleep oh lord i'm not a dancer it doesn't matter it's an instruction praise warfare you may not be a musician but you need to start engaging this thing God can tell you as a husband get up by three every day for four days lay hands on your wife and children he looks stupid just obey him there is no man that obeys God sometimes we give corporate instructions here fast some of us don't fast you don't care pray are you seeing that little disobedience one more time we're going to pray grace for thorough and prompt obedience lift your voice and pray grace for thorough and prompt obedience thorough, prompt obedience thorough prompt obedience hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord please write this down this is your assignment for this week everybody has an assignment for this week write it down your assignment for this week is to write down five areas where you desire breakthrough and triumph and find out your part of the deal what god has said concerning that issue and what you must do for a breakthrough write it down i hope you understand it the assignment is that number one you write five areas in your life maybe prosperity healing the anointing whatever just five areas in your life where you know that you are you are truly trusting god for breakthrough you want to see results you want to see notable advancement in other words nothing has been working there or nothing serious has been working there when you've written that you are going to go on a wild search 
relevant materials go on youtube search koinonia messages they are free get strategic messages go online get your bible if it is finances you can dedicate tomorrow tomorrow is saturday you can dedicate tomorrow and sunday to study finances monday to study maybe on character whatever it is just make sure between now and friday i know some of you will not do it and that's the disobedience we are talking about that lands us in hot water be childlike and do it this is for your good instructions in righteousness come to build us up don't say i am too big be childlike and even me as i'm telling you this this is not an instruction from joshua selman to us it's an instruction from god to all of us myself inclusive are we together find out what the bible has to say about those areas of concern and you must find out your role that's where you know revelation is perfected when you find what you have to do and then pray it pray it with all your heart until you get a rema from god on what to do some of you will return on friday with strange testimonies you'll be surprised faith works Bishop Oyedeko has shouted it for years. Faith works. Are we together? Are we together? Please. There is grace for you to do this. It is for your own good. There is grace for you to do this. Many of you will be surprised to see the things you will discover this week as you study the word. A scripture you have been looking at every day, all of a sudden light will flash from it and your spirit will be on fire. And before you know it, you will just rise above something that was tying down your destiny. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands, everyone. In the name that is above all names, the grace to walk by faith, the grace to believe the word of God, the grace to take heed to the instructions of God may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus may that grace come upon your life in the name of Jesus beginning from today I release grace on you that in spite of the mountains that stand before you against all hope receive grace to believe in hope that you no longer will be scared by the magnitude of the mountains that stand before you but that you will receive grace to go back stare them at the face and conquer them in the name of jesus i challenge every mountain standing before anyone here under the sound of my voice in the name that is above all names by the corporate faith that is in this house we command mountains to fall right now in the name of the lord jesus christ Lift your hands and give Jesus praise. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bashkana kata branda kate katos, kate branda kata pakotos koto breka teke nekata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.